it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is no family dynamics. Ask your client, are there any family dynamics that I should know of? Usually once a client gets really comfortable with me, they will come out and tell me, oh, by the way, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're a really good client, you'll tell me right up front, hey, I'm hiring you because you helped so-and-so, their mom was crazy, blah, blah, blah. So it's helpful for me to know these kinds of things, especially come the wedding day. Well, this particular couple did not tell me any family dynamics at all. I knew that they met online, but they didn't meet online at a dating site. It was through a game, which I don't play online video games, so I'm not really up with that. But they basically were playing this game online and like building this fake virtual life together, which apparently is a big thing, but I don't have time to play video games and nor would I play video games to look to meet someone. And the bride told me, she's like, I never thought I would like romantically get together with this guy and meet him, but they met and they fell in love and they really were in love. I really love working with clients that are truly meant to be together. You can just tell their best friends through, through thick and thin. They, everybody has arguments, but you can just tell their communication was really on the same page and they had a really good time together. We had a great planning experience. So when the wedding day got here, I was a little caught off guard with the negativity from both sides of the family. I really didn't understand what was going on. Until in the bathroom, I start hearing people talking and I learned that she has a daughter that's close to the age of the groom which she looked super young, so I didn't really sense that, but who cares if you're in love and you make each other happy? It doesn't matter if you're male, female, how old you are. If you're together for the right reasons, that's all that should matter, right? So I wish I could go back and ask that client, like tell me if you have a bunch of negative people coming to your wedding, because I feel like there was such tension on the wedding day that if I had had a little bit of notice that I could have protected her from that a little bit and some of the rude comments that they were making about her daughter and the groom. And again, I was just completely caught off guard. So be sure that you ask your clients and have open communication and let them know that their information is safe with you and you provide a safe place for them to make them have a wonderful experience on their wedding day. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.